When you follow your bliss, and by bliss I mean the deep sense of being in it and doing what the push is out of your own existence, you follow that and doors will open where there would, you would not have thought there were going to be doors and where there wouldn't be a door for anybody else. And there's something about the integrity of a life and the world moves in and, and helps. always fascinated with the idea of freedom and motorcycling for me was a means to attain the kind of liberation that I was after. So in 2017 I packed everything I needed onto my motorcycle and went on one of my most ambitious road trips to date. This is a story of my journey across the beautiful chaos called India. It's a story of a billion people, breathtaking landscapes and rich history all unified by diversity and a celebration of life. A journey that took me from the southernmost part of the country to the mountains in the north and everything in between. This is a story of how I followed my bliss on a motorcycle. I never had a plan, just a long list of places that I've always wanted to see. And anything in between them became my route. With no specific number of days or route in mind, the idea was to travel at my own pace, taking in as much of this beautiful country as possible along the way, ultimately ending up in the Himalayas. Having decided to stay away from the bland highways, we started our journey from Kerala taking the roads less travelled. This took us through some amazing routes across Kerala, Karnataka and Andhra. to Tamil Nadu was a brief one, mostly consisting of inner routes through remote areas before making our way through the guard section towards the Karnataka border. Karnataka through the scenic Bihar hills, 
located at the confluence of the Western and Eastern Ghats. The early morning ride through the winding forest roads was absolute bliss, with the surrounding areas brimming with life. And with just a single lane of road cutting through its serene landscape, we couldn't have asked for a better start, with a few minor exceptions. As we moved closer towards Gandikota, the transformation of terrains was almost dramatic as various forms of canyons and rock formations now form part of the horizon in an otherwise barren landscape. But our off-road adventure took away more daylight than we could afford and we literally rode into the heart of a storm by the time we reached the place, forcing us to make a hasty retreat to the nearest town in an attempt to find a place to stay for them. destination located in the heart of Andhra Pradesh, literally in the middle of nowhere, and proudly referred to as the Grand Canyon of India. Catching the view of the sunrise at Gandikota lived up to the height. river generally making its way through the canyon is nothing short of breathtaking and makes the treacherous climb to the edge worth the efforts.
Imagine taking a flight of stairs straight into a demonic crevice on the earth's surface that quite literally takes you to the depths of hell with its deepest and darkest point aptly called Patala Ganga. A magnificent network of natural underground cave systems shaped by the forces of nature and hidden in plain sight. At over 3.5 kilometers in length, Balam Caves are the second largest cave systems in the country. <laughs> 